at this tremendous rally in ServiceNow, the cloud-based software play that we've liked so much here on Mad Money. Here's a company that helps corporate information technology departments develop their own internal applications, as well as providing enterprise software that can help its clients automate various non-revenue generating functions, like human resources, legal, finance, sec uh, security, facilities management. I've always thought that ServiceNow is a well-run company with a terrific niche. And last night, we got proof that their business is in great shape. Yet the, the company reported a two-cent earnings beat off a 21-cent basis with inline revenue up 37% year over year. Very bullish guidance for both the next quarter and the full year. Plus, management talked about several extremely valuable new client wins on the conference call. Put it all together, and you can understand why the stock were $6 or more than 7% higher today, and it was even higher at one point. Can it keep climbing? Let's take a closer look with Frank Slootman. He's the president and CEO of ServiceNow. Find out more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Slootman, welcome back to Man Money. Thanks, Jim. It's good to be with you again. All right. It's not easy to have accelerated revenue growth. Uh, when it's a company your size, we actually, this is the first one in 2016 that we have had on, which is pretty amazing. How can you accelerate revenue growth in this environment? Well, it's, uh, it's a function of us really hitting on all cylinders when all our channels, all our uh, geographies, and a lot of new product segments all, are all kicking in at the same time. Um, you know, you go into overdrive, and uh, you sort of saw the effects of that. I saw that there was a uh, largest contract, too, in finance. I know a lot of the banks have been actually cobbled together over time, and they all have different uh, kinds of uh, all different kinds of systems all over the place. Was this giant contract one of those where a bank had, had made uh, acquisitions of other banks and they really finally had, had to get it together? Yes. Uh, typically, uh, what you see here is that uh, these l very large institutions are, are sitting on large numbers of disparate legacy systems, and they're going through a process where they want to massively consolidate and standardize on a fresh new platform. All right. Now, one of the things that's funny, I, 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 so when I see that you do HR, human resources, firstly, I say, well, wait a second. We have a Neil Bush reel on, and Workday is so great at HR. How can they be going up against ServiceNow? But you guys are actually partners. Can you explain how that partnership works? Yes. I mean, we're, uh, we're customers of Workday as well, and uh, Workday is a, a customer of ServiceNow, so we actually have a, a very good value-added uh, relationship. We're really focused on processing the work that comes into HR organizations. Uh, people, employees in, in large companies have a, a constant flow of requests, tuition reimbursements, you know, issues, issues with paychecks, and so on. Um, and that workflow is run through ServiceNow. Sometimes that results into changes into Workday as well, if it's a change of address or a new member of the family, anything that changes the actual record, that goes into, that goes into Workday. Um, but we typically, our systems are deployed across functional boundaries. In other words, we're not just launched to support HR, we're also launched to support IT, facilities, legal, and marketing. And large enterprises want to have one service experience, not one unique to each service area. But, Frank, would I know that I'm inputting a question to ServiceNow, or would I think I'm just input, inputting a question to the company? And ex that's, that's exactly the point. You know, you, you don't need to know who you're talking to. Interesting. Okay. Now, you want a piece of business with a company that we have long favored for about 140 points, Constellation, Constellation Brands. Now, I know it's a new piece of business, so we don't have to get into necessarily what, what you're doing with them right now, but why would they be attracted to ServiceNow, and who else would they be thinking of doing? Why do you win that business? How come you get that contract? Well, we, we win, uh, you know, for a variety of reasons, but, you know, typically uh, there's a big modernization uh, effort underway where, uh, you know, companies are, are trying to consolidate and refresh uh, in terms of architecture, in terms of platform, and set ourselves up for, you know, for 10, 15, 20 years to really have a platform that they can build on over that period of time. At the same time, they're looking for transformations. They want to change the service experience that they historically have had, something that is much closer to the consumer experience that you get in online retailing, online banking, uh, and so on. And then finally, uh, we're also looking at redefining the economics, the cost structures. Organizations are always looking uh, to take out big chunks of cost. 
and uh, that's that's very much central to uh, to the big initiatives that we uh, that we do with these companies. But you also deal with companies. Say, take like a Zillow. When it was a smaller company, it probably did a lot of things on paper. Probably do it all itself. When it's millions of people are logging in every single day, it's a different story. So they would bring in a service now to be able to make sure that they see correct patterns, know if there's something wrong within their organization. Well, uh, first and foremost, we got to make sure that the uh, Zillow infrastructure is, is always in the air and available for, uh, for their end user clientele. So uh, we, we play a very critical role to making sure that, that, that Zillow's service experience is available and performs and so on. All right, last question. Did you chuckle when you saw the uh, email that was released about from Colin Powell? They actually cracked his email uh, box, which said that you were a target of uh, Salesforce, but I know that you and Mark are friends, and I don't think there was really anything going on at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that uh, many people realize, but, uh, you know, CEOs talk, uh, not just CEOs, but everybody talks in Silicon Valley. Um, you know, it's not always about M&A. We compare notes on many things. It's uh, very informal. Uh, all companies maintain lists of, uh, of assets they're interested in. It's not quite as eventful as I think the industry observers are, um, are making it out to be. All right, let's leave it at that. Thank you so much, and congratulations on a great quarter. Frank Slootman, president and CEO of ServiceNow. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.